office room a mill can be a vicious thing, turning something sweet and beautiful into ugly, hurtful gossip. Thankfully, Miso has some viciously loyal supporters and only a few days left before she's leaving for good. She starts to put some serious thought into what she wants to do with her life from now on, and the answer will be surprising to everyone, especially herself. Episode 14 recap the morning after their first night together, a young June wakes in bed alone, feeling fantastic. Miso walks in to tell him it's time to get ready for work, but young June is distracted by the fact that she's wearing one of his dress shirts, and nothing else. He quips that the shirt could get to him fired for neglecting his work duties, and pulls Miso back into bed. Miso tells him that lately, he doesn't look like the young June she used to know. When he's confused, she says that she likes this young June much more. But she still makes him get up, and over breakfast, young June tries to serve her like she usually serves him. It makes me so uncomfortable, but young June informs her that he's already handsome and competent, and now he plans on being considerate, too. He asks why she won't let him take care of her, and Miso admits she feels awkward because she's used to being the one taking care of everyone else. Young June confesses that he's used to being taken care of, but he wants her to try asking him to do things for her, though he can tell from her expression that that's not gonna happen. GWI Nam arrives at work to find the office team choosing their vacation days so as not to overlap. They ask which days he wants, but he says he doesn't take vacations, because going to sleep knowing his work is done is all the break he needs. Okay, that's just getting obnoxious. When Young Jun and Miso arrive, Say Ra asks if Miso is skipping vacation again this summer. Young OK says she doesn't need vacation time since she's quitting in a week. The reminder seems to upset Miso, and she recalls Young Jun's emotional objections when she first told him she was leaving, but she tells herself hopefully that he'll probably ask her to stay again. Young Jun invites Miso to his lunch meeting at a friend's restaurant, and on the way, a Young Jun says that he and his restaurant owner friend grew up together, and that the friend is a chibol heir who gave up the chibol life. Imagine Miso's surprise to find that the ex chibol heir, Yumi, cameo by Young Yumi, is a woman, and a beautiful one at that. She eyeballs Yumi jealously as she enthusiastically hugs Young Jun, but Yumi seems genuinely thrilled to learn that Young Jun has a girlfriend at long last. She remarks that Miso is pretty, and Young Jun says that she's perfectly pretty to match his perfectly handsome face. Yumi notes that he's as narcissistic as ever, and she imitates his aura gesture. Instead of being amused, Miso pouts that Young Jun does that in front of other women. Yumi joins them while they eat, and Yumi says that since Young Jun never dated, should worried he liked her, recalling that he even asked her to marry him once. Miso looks murderous until Yumi clarifies that they were only five when it happened, p. She's called away by a customer, and Miso levels her best you got some, explaining to do, glare at Young Jun. Then she slaps on a forced smile and trills that Young Jun was quite reckless as a child, proposing marriage. Young Jun reminds her that she proposed to him when she was only five, hey. She insists that that was totally different, since she was a little girl feeling grateful to her rescuer. Young Jun delightedly accuses her of being jealous, and she scoffs that that's ridiculous, but she refuses to let him even hand her a napkin when she stuffs too much food into her mouth. Yumi returns with a jar for Young Jun to open, sparking Mieso's totally not jealous on Yun again. She looks ready to combust when Young Jun opens the jar, and he grows alarmed when he notices that Miso is holding her fork like a dagger. After lunch, Miso gets a call and steps away. Yumi tells Young Jun that she can tell how much he likes Miso by his blissful expression, and he notes that she also seems happy to be doing what she enjoys. She says that the thought of inheriting her family's company stressed her out, but that although she made the difficult choice to refuse her inheritance, she's happy living as her true self. Her words remind Young Jun of Mieso's reason for quitting, and he frowns. On the drive back to work, still fuming, Miso thrusts her water bottle at Young Jun and blurts out, Would you open this for me, Opa, lol. Young Jun nearly sprains his neck, whipping his head back and forth between her and the road. He slams on the brakes and grabs his phone to record her, Opa, this time. He laughs and says that he's enjoying her jealous on Yun more than any fine art he's ever seen. At the office, a young June asks if Opa can carry Mieso's bag for her, or if Opa can give her a piggyback, enjoying her flustered response. She snaps for him to forget she ever called him, Opa, because it won't happen again. 
Poor Young Jun, Mom and Sung Yoon go shopping together, and return to find Dad snoring on the couch. They find it hilarious that he nodded off while reading Sung Yoon's novel. Sung Yoon notices that he didn't get very far into it, and they collapse into giggles, wondering how Dad ever managed to run a company. Shae Ra and Cheol sneak off to meet in the stairwell, where Cheol tells Shae Ra that he's got tickets for her favorite musical for tonight. She calls him her hero, pinching his cute little cheeks but team leader Young comes down the stairs so Shae Ra smooshes Cheol's cheeks hard and pretends to be scolding him. When they're alone again, Shae Ra apologizes and says she wants to keep their relationship a secret. Cheol says his face is fine but his heart is broken, and walks away on the verge of tears. When they get back to their desks, team leader Young notices that Young Jun doesn't use Cheol's driving services anymore and wonders if Cheol will be fired. Shae Ra yells that, our secretary Yang, is important to the company, then backpedals to avoid being caught. She runs out, leaving Cheol grinning happily. Young Jun offers to take me so to visit.